Hi, I'm Hannah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and um, hopefully learning a little bit more about the most awesome one and done bag that you need for work or commuting or if you are a student. So um, thank you for liking the video. I really, really, really appreciate that. And um, so let me give you a little bit of background. So I'm a teacher and I was carrying anywhere from two to three bags per day, um, a lunch box and a regular huge bag that I would cart over my shoulder and I was sick of it. Um, so I wanted a one, one bag only and uh, that would carry a lot of stuff uh, just for, for what I needed and I found it on Amazon and the price point is great. I think I paid under $56 for this, or under $60 for this bag. Um, and I've had it since January of last year, so it's almost been a whole year. I use this during the summer, I use this on the weekends, and I'll explain a little bit more about that. So stick around because throughout the video, I want to explain a lot of the reasons why I chose this bag and just being with it and interacting with the bag over the past year, I've learned a lot about it and how, um, what the great perks are about the bag. So um, thank you for, for sticking around. Anyways, so let's get right into this. Um, again, this is, on a, this is on Amazon and I will link this below. This bag is 19 by 13 by I think eight. Um, so it is full to the brim. I stuffed everything in there just because I wanted you to see. Um, I have a computer in here right now. Um, I have my water bottle on the side, which is a great perk. Um, so I'll walk you through the bag. I don't want to bore you and share what I have in here, but let me just say that I have everything I need um, as a minimum, uh, especially with 2020. <laughs> um, so there are masks in here. Um, but when my family says, okay, let's go, um, on a car ride or just a last minute thing. I don't carry a purse, by the way. Um, what I carry is my phone in a case and it has everything I need. You know what, you know what these are like. Anyways, it has um, everything I need in here um, if I need to go shopping um, and whatnot. Sorry about that. There we go. Yay. Um, shaky, shaky. Um, so, <laughs> Anyway, let's let's jump right in. This part is where I keep my phone. Um, it's it's just easiest. I always carry a water bottle. This is a 32 ounce water bottle, guys. I got this on Amazon for like eight bucks. Eight bucks. Okay. Um, now, Jean, can't go wrong. You stick it in the dishwasher. You don't need to buy, well, I actually am guilty of buying expensive water bottles, but this is a 32 and um, it gets me through the day just barely. But anyway, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, the first zipper, you guys, you can get a ton of stuff lost in here. Um, not my, my favorite part of the bag, but, but there, there are compartments. They go deep down. So I have my regular um, purse um, that I always keep in here and hand sanitizers, etc. Um, pens. Um, I always keep a tube of my my favorite um, kind of um, spray, and my my keys go on here. Um, so it has one of these, and I keep it on my keychain, and I'm able to keep my keys right in here, so I don't get lost. Have you been the type of person? that is walking out of the office or and you get like out of the building and you're like oh i forgot my car keys i've, I've done that so many times actually um but anyways this is this first compartment it holds a ton of stuff and yes there's a ton of stuff that can get lost in there <laughs> it's all mesh the second compartment is where i keep most of my stuff and it's kind of a hot mess i do not clean it up for you um, right now, being 2020, we got some um, face masks. I have some others, but those are just in case. Again, this is like leaving a, the house in a hurry. Not a whole lot of planning going on. Um, but I, in this big zipper compartment right here, I put like medicines. Um, I even have lotion, um, some hauls, 
um, yeah, just, just the regular. But looking in here, there's two more places for you to keep stuff, okay? And, and it's quite deep. Um, so that's, that zips up. There's another pocket right here. Got some more oils. Um, and then right here on the bottom, it's where the lunch box sits. I try not to keep anything here and I'll explain that in a minute. So stay tuned. You're going to want to know. It has a USB right here. I've never used it, but there you go. It goes right in there. You can fish it out. But yeah, it's, that's neat. Yeah. I wouldn't use that probably. Let me close that up just so it's easier. Okay, now to the reason why I bought the bag. Um, and there are some, there are definitely some perks and some, some disadvantages right here. So right here is where the lunchbox goes. And it actually comes with a lunchbox. It's, I forget the dimensions. You can fit a lot of food in here, but if you pack a lunch with like a bowl of something, it's quite small, all right? So it, it's insulated well. They did a really nice job. Um, it unzips this way. I don't use this. Um, and it's just for personal preference, but it's nice. It fits in there. Um, it, it tucks in nicely. You zip it back up. That's great. I have my own lunch box and what's nice about this bag is that it you can fit in something a little bit larger. You have a lot of space. Yes, I do sometimes stuff in my bag and I have to hold it like this and shove it in. I don't care. But my bag that I have, or my lunchbox, I'm sorry, has the zipper that comes up through. So when I want a snack in the middle of the day, I just open this up and I, I grab and I close it back up. So that is quite nice. Um, the the downfall of this is that when this is not in here i'm going to take this out if you have stuff see i have nothing right now in here if you have stuff in here it's going to weigh this down and it's going to get in the way so i i don't prefer that i wish they had like a base i wish i wish the company had a base <laughs> Anyway, so that's the downfall. Um, I can't keep a lot of stuff in that section. Um, wh whatever, it's fine. So that's where the lunchbox goes. And then moving on to this part, um, which is a great perk. Um, this is where you can keep, I don't know, I think this is a 13 inch. Yeah, this is a 13 inch MacBook. This is not my work computer, but I think I have a 17 inch so it could fit in there. Yes, I think it, it can. And I put the adapter in here, especially since we can go remote at any moment um, of the week. Um, so it fits in nicely. So it just zips up right there. In the back, this is kind of cool. Well, it has this for like, if you're traveling with like suitcases and stuff through an airport, but it has this as well. So you can put valuables in here and wear this. Um, and this is against your body. Um, the straps are great, they're easily adjustable, and yes, sometimes I've actually on field trips needed to use this harness, um, but it's great. It's a great backpack. Um, I was in the market again for functionality. Um, so here's my, my overall impressions of one year owning this. Would I buy it again? Yep. Um, it's, it's functionality over the look of the bag. Um, I didn't care how it looked. Um, so I've gotten a lot of questions about my bag from people that I work with, um, and family members. Where did you get that bag? So I thought I would do a video to, I don't know, intrigue you, help you out in case you are in the market for something like this. And if you are that person that brings in a ton of bags and you want to be hands-free um this is i definitely recommend this bag so i will link this below um it's really cool it's really heavy right now but anyways thank you so much for watching again if you got something out of this video 
hit the like button and I'm trying to build my YouTube channel so if you could subscribe that would be really cool um, thank you so much for for your time um, and watching this video and I'll see you in my next one maybe I hope so take care